got the call about this recognition, I was uh, speechless. Um, it's certainly, this is an area that when I was responsible for my business unit in Prudential Financial, I had great passion around uh, diversity and inclusion and the environment and the workspace. And we did a lot. We made a lot of great progress over the years. And I'm very proud of it, very proud of the team and very proud of what uh, transformed in our business. When you think about uh, diversity and inclusion, I think there's really a couple things that resonate with me. One, it simply is the right thing to do. It's important that everybody has equal footing. It's important that we have an environment where we can hire and train and develop and promote where everybody has an opportunity to win. Everybody feels a part of the solution and everybody feels involved. There's no question it is the right thing to do. But I think also it is just plain good business. The lesson I learned is, is we all have felt disadvantaged in some way, shape, or form, whether it's real or, or perceived. Uh, for me, I started in Prudential when I was very young, 20 years old. And as I was running through the ranks, um, something that I didn't have was a college degree. And I always felt that I was not always allowed to, to be on equal footing with people I was competing with for promotions or recognition. And I always felt like not only did I need to compete with others, I needed to do more than they were to create the equal footing. Now, I don't know if that was real or perceived. It, who really cares? At the end of the day, it didn't feel good. So I think it's important that we understand everybody has been in that situation at some point in their lives where they didn't feel they had equal footing, personally or professionally. So I think that was, that was really a lesson for me, and it, and it made me reflect that are all of our associates in Prudential, in the business unit I was responsible for, did they feel they had equal footing? Did they feel they had every opportunity um, that all of their colleagues have? and to do everything we can to ensure that it is a good environment. It is an environment where everybody has equal footing, equal opportunity to achieve their dreams and goals. And, and once again, sometimes it could be real, sometimes it could be perceived, but knowing your environment, knowing the workplace, knowing how your associates feel about working there is extremely important and making sure that you create an environment that they want to come to work, that they feel proud of the business unit that they're working for, and that they feel like senior leadership gets it, cares, and wants to work very hard to ensure that we have this environment where everybody can succeed in. A good leader isn't trying to be popular. A good leader is trying to progress and move an organization forward when the organization may be clamoring for status quo. So I was committed, I was passionate, I believed then and believe today that you have to be in a position of taking people to places they wouldn't travel on their own. So I made sure that we had people in our organization that believed these thoughts, that shared my passion, about creating this environment and would work extremely hard to make it happen. There is no such thing as a self-made person. We need people to help us. No one succeeds by themselves if they're honest with themselves. So I, I was the product of mentoring along the way. Uh, and, I, and I do credit people that cared about me with whatever success I may have had. I do believe when you are the recipient of mentoring that you have a moral obligation to pay it forward. You can't just be a taker. You have to be a giver. So one of the things that I've been so humbled in the short time that I've been retired is the, the amount of phone calls that come in on uh, people that are asking me to serve in the role of mentor. I'm thrilled to do it. Uh, I'm doing a fair amount of it. I want to do even more of it going forward. 
Uh, and it's something that makes me feel great. It's something that if I can have some little part in helping somebody achieve the goals and dreams that they have, either personally or professionally, then that's very rewarding. And that's something that energizes me at this moment in my life. And something, as I said, I've done a fair amount of uh, in the last few months, and I even want to do more as we go forward.